In this example, we will use the TI-84 to determine the probabilities of sample means. An unknown distribution has a mean of 90 and a standard deviation of 15. Samples of size n equals 25 are drawn randomly from the population. We're asked to find the probability if the sample mean is between 85 and 92, the probability the sample mean is greater than 92, and the probability the sample mean is less than 85. So the first thing to recognize here is that we know from the central limit theorem, the distribution of the means of the sample distribution is a normal distribution indicated by the notation shown here at the bottom of the screen, where mu sub x is the mean or average of both x and x bar, which means you know the distribution of the means has a mean of 90, the same mean as the original population, and the standard deviation of the means is equal to the standard deviation of x, or the original distribution, divided by the square root of n, where n is the sample size. So in our case, the standard deviation of x bar, or the distribution of the means, is 15 divided by the square root of 25. And of course we can simplify here. The square root of 25 is five, giving us 15 divided by five, which is equal to three. To indicate the probability the sample mean is between 85 and 90, we can use the notation, the probability that x bar is greater than 85 and less than 92. For the probability the sample mean is greater than 92, we have the probability that x bar is greater than 92. And for the probability the sample mean is less than 85, we have the probability that x bar is less than 85. In order to find these probabilities on the T84, we use the normal CDF function, and then we enter the lower value of the area, comma, the upper value of the area, comma, the mean, and remember the mean of the distribution and the mean of the sample distribution are the same, comma, and then we have the standard deviation of the sample distribution or sample means, which is equal to the standard deviation of the original population divided by the square root of the sample size. So going to the calculator, we press second VARS for the distribution menu, option two for normal CDF. The lower bound is 85, enter. Upper bound is 92, enter. The mean is 90. And then the standard deviation for the sample distribution or distribution of the means, again, is 15 divided by the square root of 25 which does simplify to three, but we can enter the quotient if we want like this. Enter, enter, and enter. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.6997. Which is equal to 69.97%. Next, we have the probability that x bar is greater than 92 so we go back, again, second VARS for the distribution menu, option two for normal CDF. Because we have x bar greater than 92, 92 is the lower bound, enter. We need to exaggerate the upper bound. I'm gonna go ahead and use 99999, enter. And the mean and standard deviation remain the same. Enter, 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 and enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.2525, which is equal to 25.25%. And then we have the probability that x bar is less than 85. So going back, second VARS, option two. Because x bar is less than 85, we need to exaggerate the lower bound I'm going to use negative 99999, enter. The upper bound is 85, enter. Mu and sigma remain the same, enter, 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 and enter again. To four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.0478, which is equal to 4.78%. 
For the last part, we're asked to find the value that is two standard deviations above the expected value of 90 of the sample mean. The expected value is 90 because 90 is the mean of both the original distribution as well as the sample distribution. So we have x bar, the value from the sample distribution, is equal to the mean of 90 plus the z-score of 2 times this quotient here is a standard deviation of the sample distribution or distribution of means which again is the standard deviation of the population which is 15 divided by the square root of n which is the square root of the sample size we have the square root of 25 simplifying we have 90 plus 2 times the square root of 25 is 5 15 divided by 5 is 3 which gives us 96. So the value that is two standard deviations above the expected value of 90 of the sample mean is 96. I hope you found this helpful.